Count all 13, free to play. Eight months later. What's going on, my friends? My name is Joe, welcome back to the show, and today is the last episode of the Town Hall 13 free to play series. Yes, we've moved into our eighth month at Town Hall 13 without buying the gold pass. I'm so proud of that, man, I'm telling you right now. But today we're gonna get you caught up on what's been upgraded in the last 30 days on both the village as well as in the laboratory, the reason why I have to stop using hammers of building, and also the big brain plan to move into Town Hall 14. So since this is the last episode, we're gonna do a little bit of recapping to explain how we got to this point on this village. Because a lot of players are tuning in, finding this video late, and they haven't seen any of the series. It will be linked down in the description below because some of you guys are looking at your Town Hall 13 bases and you're like, two week long upgrades, there's no way that this guy did it free to play. So we started our upgrades on this progress base offensive heavy first, meaning our main focus was the heroes. And at the 90 day mark, we had maxed out our Archer Queen and our Grand Warden, and we were working on our Barbarian King and Royal Champion, and I said this. Remember that Barbarian King at level 72? Well, we're gonna go ahead and keep upgrading him after the Clan War Leagues to level 75. The Royal Champion, on the other hand, we're gonna upgrade to about level 20-ish, and we're gonna have to slow way down because you have to remember that each individual month you get one free book of heroes at the end of the season pass so we have to be able to spend that free book of heroes and the best place to do that is on our royal champion and as we moved into the eighth month we used the final free book of heroes from the may 2022 season pass to finish out the upgrade on our royal champion at level 25. That means that we have no other place to spend our Dark Elixir, which is currently full, and that's problem number one. Now, moving throughout the rest of the offensive buildings, we knocked out our army camps, our barracks, we did a little bit of traps, and in our last episode, we left off on finishing up the upgrades on our hidden Teslas, and we had started on the Archer Towers. As of today, we've knocked out all of our Archer Towers to level 18. We also used two hammers of building on one, two archer towers to finish them out at level 19. We also did upgrades on our bomb towers and got them to level eight to kind of disrupt the hog riders. And then we also started working our way into cannons. We got one, two, three, four cannons that are currently under upgrade to level 18, and we still have three more to go. Now here's the problem with the defensive structures here at Town Hall 13. They start out with really long upgrades for one level, but then a lot of these have another level to follow it up. The mortars, however, only have one level to upgrade to and they take 16 days as well. So unfortunately, we're not going to be fully maxing out at Town Hall 13 because we've been running into a major issue with our resources. <laughs> Inside our laboratory, we've maxed out just about every item within it to include all the spells, the dark troops, and that can be contributed to the use of hammers of fighting and hammers of spells earlier in the series. As of the last episode, we were working on upgrading our siege machines to include finishing the upgrade on our siege barracks to level four, the stone slammer to level four, and starting the upgrade on the battle blimp. The only thing left in the laboratory to upgrade is the wall wrecker to level four and that's a 16 day upgrade now we have 12 days remaining on this battle blimp and some of you guys see the book of fighting and you might be asking why i'm not using the book of fighting truth be told i really feel like it's more value at town hall 14 than wasting it on a siege machine besides we still have to wait on the upgrade of the town hall which if i remember correctly it is a 14 day upgrade so two weeks on our town hall upgrade so what i plan on doing here is finishing out the upgrade on the battle blimp and then starting the upgrade on the wall wrecker 
Once we get to Town Hall 14, we're going to be using a hammer of building to hammer the upgrade time on our laboratory to finish it out for that level. So with that being said, that means that I'm no longer going to be using hammers of building here at Town Hall 13. I'm going to be saving the hammers of building for going to Town Hall 14. That means using a hammer on the laboratory, possibly using a hammer to upgrade our clan castle, and then we also have to take into consideration the upgrades on our storages and starting back onto our heroes all over again. So this is that part of the video where we might get a little nerdy for some of you guys because I had to stop what I was doing and plan out the upgrades to Town Hall 14. That way I have builders available once I get to that new level. According to the Clash Ninja website, right now, as of today's date, we have 88% complete on structures, 99% complete in the laboratory, 100% on both heroes and walls. So there's really nowhere to spend that elixir or that dark elixir at this very moment. When we look at the builder time remaining with six builders, we have three months, three days, and 12 hours. Now that's just keeping the builders down. That is not also including the use of magic items. So this might go a little bit faster. We'll say maybe two months remaining at Town Hall 13 which caused me to go into the Builders tab and start planning out the next month worth of upgrades. That way that I make sure that I have Builders available. So right now on the left side, we have cannons, bomb towers, upgrading, as well as the final archer tower. On builder number five, you're going to see that we're going to manually upgrade the town hall with the use of 16 million gold for 14 days. That saves a magic item for another upgrade when we get to town hall 14. Example, laboratory, clan castle, which are equally as long of upgrades as the town hall itself. We also decided to fill in the other builders with short upgrades like the air bombs for six days and seven days, which at the end you see that we will have one, two, three, four, five builders available once the town hall upgrade concludes. And then we'll have the six builder finishing moments afterwards, a couple of hours afterwards. Now for the sake of transparency, we did not use that many strategies here at town hall 13 at all. I mean, I know a lot of you guys watch the videos regularly, but the others that are very much behind this base, you gotta understand that there was certain stages at which point I use certain armies. When I was upgrading my heroes, I used the Sneaky Goblin Farming Army to keep the upgrades going on the heroes nonstop. When I started the push up to Legends League, I used the Hybrid Attack because I'm a really decent Queen Walker, and that attack strategy is very easy to me. I wouldn't recommend it if you don't know how to Queen Walk. Now, when I got to Legends League, I started using this Super Dragon Army, which was actually quite simple to maintain two stars for every single attack in Legends League to to get the resources and I also use it in clan war as well so you really don't need to know four or five six different strategies at town hall 13 to be successful and I need some of you guys out there to understand that because a lot of you tend to freak out a little bit saying that you don't know this strategy you need a different strategy when you really don't you just need to master the ones that you do know or that you do enjoy using but I think that's pretty much it, and I'm super stoked to go into Town Hall 14 free to play until they drop Town Hall 15 on me. What do you guys think? <laughs> do you think that's going to happen this month or in the upcoming months? We know it's coming. Let me know down in the comments below how your villages are going, and if you enjoyed today's content, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you have not done so already, and we will see you in the next video.